Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod, or iPad with Snowbreeze. This will be on version 4.3, and currently this is a beta. If you uh, check right here, if there's an annotation, click it, and you'll be uh, redirected to a video which is much better than this. Until then, this is the basically first jailbreak for 4.3 besides the GM, and this is made by I Hate Snow and you can download all the stuff you need with the links in the description. The links in the description will link to a site which will have all the information you need so just click there and you'll have the guide and everything step by step for you. So what you're going to do first is open Snowbreeze. We have this on our desktop right here. You're also going to need your firmware for your designated device. I'm using an iPhone 4 on 4.3. You're going to have to download that. All the information will be in the post on our site with the link in the description. So the first step is to open Snowbreeze. You're going to acknowledge this, hit OK, then continue, and then say yes. Now you're going to drag your firmware to here. It's going to identify it, and once it has done that, just wait for it. It will see that I have an iPhone 4. The next thing you're going to do is hit continue. Now you're going to hit expert mode, followed by just build IPSW. You can do all these fancy things if you want, but we're going to be sticking with this for the tutorial. Now, basically, what it's doing is making a file, and it's going to take about 15 minutes, so you can do whatever you want. And we'll be back when that's done. You'll have the loading bar to tell you around when it's done, so we'll be back as soon as the loading bar has completed. Okay, so the next step to this jailbreak is turning your device off and putting it into DFU mode as prompted with Snowbreeze. Once you do this, you're going to go into iTunes and restore it to the custom firmware it is made for you. So what you're going to do is just hit OK and get ready to follow instructions, plug in your iPhone or whatever device you're using and get ready to go. First thing it's going to ask you is to turn off your device so that's what I'm going to be doing right now now you're going to hit start once your device is fully off which will be in a few seconds after you slide the thing and we will continue by waiting five seconds and then starting the process to put into DFU mode so we'll wait five seconds now hold both for 10 seconds. Let go of the top button. And it should exploit with Lemon. Now it'll say you are in a pwned DFU state, and then quickly iTunes will fly up. So you're going to hit OK. And now you're going to hold shift on your keyboard while you hit restore. Um, note that you're going to have to be... You, uh, sorry, note that you're going to have to be on iTunes 10 or higher for this to work. Now we are going to find the desktop right here. And it will have made a custom firmware which will start with Snowbreeze. So once you do that, you're just going to hit open and iTunes will verify and then restore. There a few problems. The first one was I just got a plain out error message. And a way to fix that is to go onto ihatesnow.com or it will be in the, our post and download iReb then, rest then um, get yourself into the Pwn DFU mode. All you have to do is open iReb, select your device and do what it says. Then you could uh, retry the jailbreak because it will pop up iTunes. And the next problem I had was everything went fine, the restore went fine, I unplugged it, it was loading, and then there was this bar. It took a long time, and um, what I did was I just waited, and after like 10 minutes, it started to go, and it went all the way across. 
Now, after that, I was stuck in a boot loop, and I thought, or what was supposed to happen was, the iPhone was supposed to turn on with Cydia, but it was not supposed to be working until you do this next la last step. However, for me, it worked like this. What I did was, I got stuck in the boot loop after I restored. I had it so the Apple would turn on, there'd be a little spinning wheel that got stuck. Now, the next thing I would do, I did, is I'll be showing you right now. Go into your computer on your desktop a new file will be created called iBooty you're going to open that now there's going to be a file inside the folder called iBooty and it's an executable you're going to open that basically you select your device and just hit go it will uh, ask you to put you put your device into DFU mode once you do that it'll take only a minute I think I had to try this twice but it worked out in the end and after that, your iPhone will boot up perfectly. I did not expect it to work, but it did. Uh, after I did the restore, I didn't expect it to work, but this actually worked. And I got to say, I have Cydia and everything. I'm on jailbroken on 4.3. And if this works, thanks for watching. You can ask comments on our channel, and we'll try to respond to that. And we'll try to make a video as soon as this is updated and better. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.